Welcome to my channel Cherish Physics. Subscribe my channel and keep watching. According to Kepler's second law, the radial vector to a planet from the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal intervals of time. The law is a consequence of the answer is conservation of angular momentum. Question number 7. The gravitational potential energy of the moon with respect to earth is always negative because the work is done by the system. Eighth question. The kinetic energies of a planet in an elliptical orbit about the sun at positions A, B and C or Ka, Kb and Kc respectively. AC is the major axis and SB is perpendicular to AC at the position of the sun as shown in the figure. See the figure here. The planet is very near to the sun and C is further away from the sun. And B is also far away from the sun compared to A but nearer to the sun compared to C. We know the formula energy of an orbiting satellite that is kinetic energy which is equal to half g mass of the earth into mass of the satellite divided by r e plus h radius of the earth plus the height of the satellite from the surface of the earth. So it is very clear that the kinetic energy is inversely proportional to the orbital distance. So the kinetic energy Ka is very much greater when compared to B and C. So the answer is option A. Ka is greater than Kb which is greater than Kc. Ninth question. The work done by the sun's gravitational force on the earth is the answer is can be positive or negative because if the earth revolves around the sun in circular orbit then the work done by the gravitational force on the earth is always zero. According to Kepler's law of planetary motion, each planet moves around the sun in elliptical orbit. So at the point perihelion and aphelion, the work done by the gravitational force of sun on the earth is zero. When earth is nearer to the sun, the work done is positive. And when earth is far away from the sun, the work is negative. Because when it is nearer to the sun, the gravitational field experienced by earth increases. When, it is, when earth is far away from the sun, the gravitational field experienced will decrease. So, the work done by the sun's gravitational force on the earth is, can be positive or negative. Tenth question. If the mass and radius of the earth are both doubled then the acceleration due to gravity g Dash. is we know acceleration due to gravity of the earth is g is equal to g mass of the earth divided by radius of the earth squared. In the question, the mass and radius both are doubled. So, g dash equal to g into 2 me divided by 2 re the whole squared, which is equal to g me by 2 into r squared. That is, g dash equal to g by 2. This implies the acceleration due to gravity g dash, which is equal to g by 2.